Welcome guys, I am Harriet, and you're watching EV News on Jexton Electric. In this edition, we gonna be focusing on Tesla news and updates. Click subscribe and the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our next edition. Tesla seems to have accidentally leaked all of its upcoming supercharger locations. The supercharger network is already the world's largest EV fast charging network, and is growing rapidly. This week, Tesla updated its supercharger map as it does each quarter, adding in new locations and estimated opening dates for a few upcoming supercharges. This time though, they briefly published their entire list of coming soon locations, and blogs had the exact addresses listed. They were removed a few hours later but saved prior to that by bloggers, who have even made a map of all of these listed locations. There were 347 new locations listed as coming soon, and scrolling through shows you a ton of information. The number of supercharges currently planned by Tesla is staggering, with around 85 in California alone. The complete list is on Drive Tesla Canada, the link is found in this video's description, if you're interested. It looks like 37 states in the US are getting multiple new locations, but the list also revealed the exact locations of supercharges in Canada. That list is also pretty extensive, likely, these supercharges will take quite some time to truly get built and put online, but it's amazing to see Tesla expansion which is absolutely necessary for the number of cars they are selling each quarter. We are waiting to see Tesla share its supercharges to non-Tesla vehicles, which will boost electric vehicle adoption and utility. Recently, we've seen Tesla roll out new stations at a record pace. Deploying a DC fast charger is more difficult than you might think. Once Tesla knows it needs to open a new supercharger in a particular area, it needs to find a property to build it on, and get the owners to agree on a contract. The automaker then has to develop the design, and obtain approval from the local government and the local power company. Then it needs to get a local contractor to install it, and work with the local electricity company to get it activated. Problems at any stage can lead to significant project delays, or even cancellation. That's why Tesla rarely reveals the actual location of future supercharger stations until they're ready. Let's look at the new Model Y, and Model 3 that will be built for 2023. Earlier this year, Tesla stopped taking orders for the Model 3 long range, citing high demand for the electric sedan. While it's still not available in Design Studio, you can get your hands on a brand new one via the existing stock section of Tesla's website. As an added bonus, it will be an all-new 2023 model. According to an internal memo sent to Tesla employees on Wednesday last week, of which a copy was obtained by Drive Tesla, Model 3's built on or after October 4th, will be for 2023 model year. While the same applies to Model X built on or after October 3rd. Currently, the Model Y and Model S are still in production for 2022, and the email says more information on both vehicles will be released soon. If you get a VIN for your new car, you'll know it's a 2023 model, by looking at the 10th digit, and it will now be P2023 instead of N2022. Let's look at the new 2023 Tesla Model Y design. Tesla have finally updated their Model Y website, to reflect one big all-new 2023 design change for its interior. For a while now the Model 3 has been shipping with a different interior, with trims extending from the dash to the door panels, but the Model Y has still yet to see that change. The new interior has gotten rid of the large white panels on the side of the doors, in favor of this very small piece extending from the dash. At the back, this change means the white panels previously at the rear doors are straight black as well. If you click through the configure of the Model Y, you will see the view of the rear of the car with white interior, featuring the same black doors as the black interior. And when you look at the black or white interior, you see the updated doors as well. Tell us in the comments if you like this new interior. Track mode is coming to the Tesla Model Y performance. But this time it's actually real, 
Elon Musk has confirmed this weekend that the Model Y will be getting track mode. Musk said in 2020 that track mode will be available on Tesla Model Y, but it has not yet been implemented in the car. In response to a Twitter user, Elon admitted that the Model Y's track mode is not as easy as it seems. Track mode is available on the Tesla Model 3 Performance and Model S Plaid, and now it's coming to the Model Y. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has announced production of the highly anticipated Tesla semi-truck, with deliveries to Pepsi on December 1st. He added that the Tesla Semi has 500 miles of range and is super fun to drive. In December 2017, Pepsi ordered 100 of the all-electric Class 8 trucks, a month after it was launched. He tweeted, excited to announce start of production of Tesla Semi truck with deliveries to Pepsi on December 1st. Pepsi company confirmed this week that it is ready to receive the Tesla Semi electric truck at his two factories in California on December 1st. We can confirm our first electric Tesla Semis December 1st, 2022, supporting our Frito-Lay plant in Modesto, CA, plus our PepsiCo beverages plant in Sacramento. We're looking forward to this next step in our hashtag PepsiCo positive journey plus we'll provide more details once we have taken delivery. Pepsi company first pre-ordered the Tesla Semi in late 2017 after the vehicle was unveiled. It has been expecting delivery for several years, but supply chain shortages and battery constraints delayed the initial production of the vehicle. S&P Global Ratings has officially upgraded Tesla's long-term credit rating to investment grade. Despite Tesla's two-plus years of consecutive earnings, and more than $18 billion in cash with little debt, Tesla was still considered a junk bond by rating agencies like S&P Global Ratings and Moody's Investors Service. Earlier this year, Electrek reported that the rating agencies had finally changed their minds about the electric car maker and were considering improving their ratings. S&P Global Ratings recently announced it has upgraded Tesla's long-term credit rating from its BB Plus to its BBB, the automaker's highest investment rating. The rating agency wrote the following about Tesla in its explanation for the upgrade. We now view Tesla's credit profile more favorably because it continues to demonstrate market leadership in electric vehicles, with solid manufacturing efficiency that supports strong EBITDA margins and sustained positive free operating cash flow, above our previously established upside triggers. S&P Global Ratings acknowledges that Tesla has beaten expectations on several metrics. The company believes Tesla will continue to generate high profits, while maintaining low levels of debt. The stable outlook reflects our expectation that Tesla will maintain low debt levels, as it sustains its solid market share, profitability, and strong liquidity amid a weakening economy and an increasingly competitive environment for EVs. Tesla China sets another record, selling 83,135 vehicles in a single month. The China Passenger Car Association CPCA released its September results, confirming that Tesla China contributed 83,135 electric vehicles to last month's results. 28,000 in July and 77,000 in August means China contributed about 188,000 cars to Tesla's third quarter results. Tesla China briefly commented on the result, the record high sales of China made Tesla cars, showed electric vehicles have been leading the mobility trend. Gigafactory Shanghai only produces two vehicles, Tesla Model 3s and Model Y SUVs, but its products have become staples of China's EV market. The Model Y, for example, has been China's top-selling premium SUV for several months, with a price tag of over 300,000 yuan, which is about $42,150. Aerial footage of one of these Tesla units from the Shanghai Gigafactory were recently taken at the Shanghai South Port Terminal, and it is one of the largest. The video, recorded by longtime Tesla China watcher, Wu Wa, shows thousands of Teslas waiting to be loaded onto cargo ships. Tesla community members who estimated the number of vehicles in the video said, 
There could have been 10,000 Teslas at the Shanghai South Port Terminal at the time the video was filmed. A Twitter user Sawyer Merritt tweeted, a record 10,500 plus Teslas, I counted, spotted at Luchao Port Shanghai Nangang Terminal, slash dock today, ready to be loaded for export onto ships. This port is expected to be live in a few days. Tesla plans to eventually expand the Gigafactory Nevada building, after years of being stuck at about 30% of its final size. Here's what the factory is supposed to look like once completed, as you can see in the yellow section, and the existing section with Tesla operation is the section in red, then the blue section is Panasonic's. However, Tesla has not expanded its factory footprint in five years as it focuses on optimizing it and building new ones that include vertically integrated car manufacturing. Now Electrek has learned that Tesla is finally expanding the factory's footprint with a building expansion. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please support us by subscribing to help us grow and also be part of our community here at Jexton Electric Channel as we have a mission to take the charge of fighting against climate change by bringing the future of sustainable energy closer to our viewers and subscribers, showing that electric cars are the best cars in the world. For more news and update on EVs, subscribe to this channel. See you on our next EV news edition.